Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Paige Flam, blogger over at thehappyflamily.com for those of you who don't know me. And today I'm going to share with you a fun shopping haul video. This is accumulation of things I've picked up over the last couple weeks from Target and Dollar Tree. Most of it is kind of like Christmassy stocking stuffer stuff, but some of it is things that we're gonna use now. So I will show you everything that we got. But before I hop into the haul, can you guys leave me a comment down below letting me know which videos you guys prefer me filming on my channel? I'm gonna be doing um, 24 videos for the month of December from December 1st to the 24th like I did last year. Um, but I wanna know, do you guys prefer seeing family vlogs or do you prefer um, sit down videos like this where I'm kinda like showing you things that we got and things like that? So let me know. Um, Cause going forward, I think I kinda wanna do like a vlog on Monday and then like two sit down videos every single week. So um, let me know in the comments below what you guys prefer seeing over here. So without further ado, let's get into the shopping haul. So the first few things that I got, I'll show you everything I got from the Dollar Tree and then I'll do everything we got at Target. I love getting wrapping paper at the Dollar Tree because it's so much less expensive than at Target. Over the last few years, I feel like I've spent a lot of money on like expensive, pretty wrapping paper, but I've come to realize Christmas is not about me, it's about my children, and I got wrapping paper that I think they will like, whether it's Pinterest worthy and glamorous and all that, it doesn't really matter, Christmas is for my kids. So for Kinsley's wrapping paper, I got this fun Minnie Mouse um, Christmas print for her, and this is nice too because like, a lot of these papers, when they're when Christmas is over, I can reuse them for like um, friends' birthday parties and things like that. My son Kyle, I got him this like Christmas Spider-Man paper, and then Kinsley got this Frozen one, which again can be reused really easily. And then I got this other Spider-Man paper as well. And then for my husband and I's gifts, I just got this little snowman paper. Um, all the character papers were 20 square feet for a dollar, and this one was 50 square feet, so I figured this could also pick up any loose ends of other gifts that need to be wrapped. This next bag from the dollar store is accumulation of things for now and later. So this is a PJ Masks puzzle that I grabbed. It's on cardboard and all the pieces fit in really nicely together. This shopping trip for the Dollar Tree was supposed to be a stocking stuffer only kind of situation. This obviously won't fit in a stocking. So I might just put this in like the gift closet and give it to one of my kids later or for a birthday party or something like that. So we'll see. I got Kinsley some headbands from the Dollar Tree. I thought these were really cute if it'll focus on that. Um, there's this black one and then this white one, and I felt like these would match really well with a lot of the clothes that she has right now, so I grabbed those for her. Part of Kinsley's homework for school is playing dress up, which I've told you her homework is kind of like, it's ridiculous the things that she has to do for homework, but um, she doesn't have any dress up clothes and it's hard to play dress up with a child who's physically disabled, but I got her this little fairy wand and this little crown. I felt like those were things that she could easily do herself, and then these little fairy wings. I was impressed that Dollar Tree had these. If you have a little girl, I get her some fairy wings. They have like really cute elastic ties um, to easily pop them over the shoulder. So I thought that was a really awesome find. Next, I found some balls. I always get my kids a new ball every single year. I like having a bunch of little balls in the house because we like to throw them at each other and play kind of rough. But I got my son this Lightning McQueen one. And then if you saw my Christmas videos from last year, you know my kids were obsessed with Paw Patrol last year. Still obsessed. Kinsley has the very strong Paw Patrol buzz right now. So I got her this Paw Patrol ball, has the girl pups on there, and I thought that was really cute and she'll love that. Um, I picked up some little gloves for Kinsley. The Target dollar spot didn't have ones that were small enough for Kinsley. I got Kyle a pair at the Target dollar spot, but the Dollar Tree had ones for super tiny little baby hands, so I'm hoping that these are small enough for her. I'll keep you guys posted. One of Kinsley's Christmas gifts this year is um, Play-Doh, and so they had this whole bag of like Play-Doh cutters and stuff, so I thought that would be fun and awesome to stick in her stocking to kind of go along with that gift that she's already getting. This was something fun I thought the kids could do for a family home evening, so it came with two ornaments, one for each kid and some paints, and it only came with one um, paintbrush, but we have extra paintbrushes that we can give to the child that doesn't get this one. So um, I just thought that'd be a fun little activity to do for family home evening one night before Christmas. This is a three pack of flashcards and I thought I could easily divide these up between Kyle and Kinsley. This one is kind of working on like pre-reading things which would be fun for Kyle. 
This is working on counting things. Kinsley's gotten the vocabulary of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can like work on actually counting now, like one, two, and one. And so um, I'll split these up amongst Kyle and Kinsley for their stockings. And then um, we like The Good Dinosaur. It's a cute movie that we like to watch. And I saw these little guys at the Dollar Tree and thought that'd be fun for them. And tape because Christmas is not Christmas without massive amounts of scotch tape. All right, the next few things that I got are all from Target, mostly from the dollar spot. Um, I got a pack of stickers. I haven't decided if these are gonna go in someone's stocking or if I'm just gonna use these to keep the kids happy in the car. I like to just rip off a sheet of stickers and then split it between the two kids and then let them stick stickers all over the back seat. They come off easily and it is a great way to keep them entertained when they are whining all the time. I got Kinsley this puzzle. This is probably just going to be gift wrapped under the tree. It was from the dollar spot. It's wood. And it just has like little cupcakes and stuff. We got rid of most of our wood puzzles when we moved from Georgia. Mostly because the kids just weren't playing with them anymore. We'd had them for like five years. And so we sold them. And with the intent of buying new ones. Just because they were really bored of the same puzzles. And so um, we got this one for Kinsley. And that's one of the skills she's working on right now. Is picking up and putting and stuff. So there's that. I like to get my kids socks and their stockings each year. So I got this pair for Kinsley. And I got these Santa ones for Kyle. So those are really fun and cute. I apparently got two two books of stickers didn't realize that I got each of the kids one of these like play packs that they have at Target um Kyle's is in the other bag I saw this elf one and thought that it would be fun for Kinsley and then I just got myself a pair of bright green gloves for running Kyle got a blue pair but his are already opened and off somewhere else this is the play pack that I got for Kyle a lot of his friends at school are really into Star Wars and he hasn't really um, watched Star Wars at all, but he's expressed a lot of interest, so I figured a little coloring thing might be a fun way to ease into the whole Star Wars thing, because I don't know if I'm exactly ready for that. Sorry, full memory card again. So, switched it, hopefully we can finish this video. Kyle is a very, very fidgety kid. He like picks at the skin on his cuticles all the time until his fingers bleed, and it's, I think it's just like a nervous thing that he has. So I bought a fidget spinner. I it, it caused me great pain to buy this fidget spinner. I've been trying to like keep them out of our home for so long. But um and I don't actually even know that his hand is like big enough to spin this on his own, but I felt like he might need some fidget toys to maybe like save the cuticles on his skin so that he's not like fleshy bleeding fingers all the time. So I will let you know if this solves that problem for us. And yeah, fidget spinner, fidget spinner. I bought these stockings for the kids last year at Target and it wound up being just a fun little activity for them to do. So I figured again, for family home evening one night, we could color stockings together. I have to like accept and let go of the fact that I know Kinsley, actually I didn't let Kinsley have one last year, but this year I feel like she'll think it's fun. I just have to let go of the fact that I know she's gonna destroy and not color in the lines and it's gonna look really ugly and I just have to like accept that, but I think she'll have a lot of fun doing it. All right, so that is everything for this Dollar Tree and Target haul. You'll probably see some of these items again when I go through the things that I'm actually gonna put in the kids' stockings this year. I don't think I'm gonna buy any more things. I certainly think that this is all enough stuff to put in their stockings, so I'm really excited. We're basically done with Christmas shopping for the kids this year, which is really fun. Um, we just have a few things to get, like grandparents' gifts and we draw names with Derek's siblings, so we'll get a gift for one of his siblings and then that's basically it so um if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know which videos you guys think would be fun for vlogmas and i will see you next time bye